you, my Golden State Picker. We're in the garage. Busy day today. Uh, busy day just books. Busy day with finding stuff. And now I have to ship a bunch of stuff. So crazy life of a picker. It's it's a long day, people. If you're getting into it and you want to do it full time, it's a full time job and uh, it's it's a lot of work. So don't want to don't want to sugarcoat it. It it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. It's a blast. Let me tell you, it's a blast. All right. Now we usually talk about some stuff, but today it's straight into stuff we found, stuff we sold. We'll talk about stuff as we go along. We can't get this video too long, and I think it's time for just one of those major, let's go and show you a little bit of everything, big, small, the whole you know, whole nine yards. So I'm really pumped. I'm really excited. Uh, just coming into the fourth quarter, it's going to be it's gonna be a big push, but it's going to be fun because I wanted to see how much I could do in one year really pushing hard on eBay and Amazon. It's going to be exciting to see my final numbers. Uh, at the end of the year, it's going to be really cool. And we're going to share those, everything, net, gross, the whole thing. We'll make the proper video this time. All right, let's get right into it. Let's not mess around anymore. Got a little friend here. A little friend. Who is this one? Can any of you Ninja Turtle fans tell me who that is? Go ahead. I can hear you. I can hear you. Yes, yes, yes. That is Leonardo. Leonardo. And Leonardo here, he sold for $150. But I'm going to tell you how I sold him. All right, Leonardo went up on eBay, local pickup, but he didn't sell local pickup. He sold on Facebook Marketplace. So, bigger items like this, use every tool you have, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, and Craigslist. Sell them on each platform. Don't forget to take it down on eBay once you sell it. And that's what I got to go do right now because I just reminded myself because you don't want to double sell it. But anyhow... Uh, I got him for $40 at the flea market during the summer, and like I said, he sold for $150. Now, I have a little theory that I use in my, my head. This is how I think. Now that I'm into this full-time uh, and I'm just rolling along, I can take stuff and take chances on bigger items like this. Yes, it's hard to store something like this, so you really do want to get rid of it as fast as you can. And this took me a little bit longer than I thought. I knew it definitely would sell towards Christmas and it sold a little bit more towards uh, Halloween so don't be afraid of this kind of stuff it's it can be intimidating but it's way cool especially when you see it in person and you go oh, I just got to have that right so he he did really well <laughs> all right I had to cut I don't like to cut but hey the guy came and picked up Leonardo he's no longer here so $150 cash He's gone out of here. Sweet little deal. And what's he say? He said, he said what's he going to use it for? He has a booth at the flea market. Not this one, but another flea market. He sells a lot of action figures, and he wants to use it for a display. So he's going to get it. He'll probably get his money back if he ever turns around and sells it. So uh, pretty good deal for him and a good deal for me. All right, let's start off next with some items that we sold. We're going to go solds, and then we're going to go items we found. So right up front, we'll start off with an item from the book bins. This guy here is a DVD Blu-ray set, Lord of the Rings, the Trilogy Extended Edition. I find so many DVDs inside these bins of books. For you who are new, are new the bins or books are where I go and buy them at auction. Now, I have to say auction because anybody could bid on the bins of books, but I'm generally the only one there. There might be one other picker there, but then we bring out extras, and we have a written rule that nobody bids on each other's bins, so we get them for 100 bucks. So $100. Inside there, we have books that we scan, and we send those to, to Amazon. Out of the bin, we maybe get 40 books to ship to Amazon. And the rest of the stuff, we try to find things to cover the cost of the bin and make some extra money. That's where this comes in. We find these in the bin, we sell them, and we make the cost of the bin zero so that the stuff we sell at Amazon is pure profit. That's kind of how we think. So this is one item. I found a bunch of other DVDs in this one that I've got up that will sell for about $100. That will cover, you know, another bin, that kind of thing. And I'll show you some other stuff here. This we find all the time in the bins. Now there's a seven volume set and this seven volume set of Harry Potter. And 
the the hard bit hard 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 back uh, set. The other ones are down there, and then this is what they call like the eighth one. If, so if you find this one, you combine it with this, and that really helps sell this seven volume set. And that's what happened last night. I sold one. Today I sold one, and they sell for right around fifty to sixty dollars. This one sold for fifty five plus $12 shipping. And I still have probably three or four more complete sets. So you just keep stockpiling those, build up sets, keep them up. You can do a, uh, you know, three, a four, you have four sets, five sets, whatever on eBay. So you can just add quantities and you never have to take the listing down. You just keep finding these books, keep, keep them in stock and you sell them. So that's 55. Plus 32, I don't know if I told you, this was 32 plus six. So there is $87, $87 just in these items. And the bin cost me a hundred. Let's think about that. It's pretty cool. Very, very cool. All right, let's get right on to the next item. You've seen me sell these and I've told you about these. These are old school cassette holders. Okay, this is by the company Napa Valley, you'll see they have a little brand on the side of their cases. This guy here picked up for $6.69 at Goodwill. About a month or three weeks prior, I picked up three of these and sold them instantly for $100. This one by itself sold for $39 plus $19 shipping. So there's good money. Now it's not, it's like, well, how do you ship this? It's actually pretty simple. I have a particular box that it just drops into, and then I resize the box, okay? We resize it, and it folds down to just the size of this, and they're not that expensive to ship. So uh, don't be afraid of this kind of stuff. I have a lot of stuff that people are afraid of because they just go, I don't know how to ship it. If you say that to yourself, then you're limiting yourself to some very, very big money, and you're going to see some of that in a little bit here. Uh, later on because I'm going to show you something that sold for quite a bit of money and it's big and you go how do you ship that one okay so stay tuned for that it'll be a little bit later in the video all right let's go on to the next one ah oh my goodness all right here we go what is it no it's not a bowling ball no, it's not a bowling ball now uh, I have sold many of these and this is interesting i'm not going to open it up i will put the picture up here you know of the sold so you kind of can see what it is but this one was really cool and they people they price these things people give them away because they don't know what to do with them this here is a toshiba okay toshiba tv uh vcr combo but what's really unique about this one it has the remote and it has this really really nice hard case for its uh for you know storing it you can take this on an RV. It has the uh, jack for the uh, cigarette lighter. This is really cool. So just I'll keep the picture up there. And for gamers, the old NES system doesn't show up, I guess, is good on some of these newer TVs, but on these cathode, cathode roid tubes, CRTs, I probably screwed that up, but oh well. <laughs> CRT tubes, the TVs, the old TVs. Uh, they use them for this so they can uh, play their NES games and then this could be for like RV and that kind of thing too so this guy sold for $130 plus $40 shipping and this is another one of those big items but guess what this is not that bad once you find the box for this guy it's pretty much you're going to drop it in the box you're going to find where the face or the tube is and you're going to protect that tube and you're, you're pretty golden. It shouldn't be too bad. Some bubble wrap, not a lot of stuff. It just drops right in the box. So this one, not, I'm not afraid of this. Guy. This guy's actually going to be one of my easier ones to ship today. All right, what else do we have here? Oh, let's go on to... Now, hopefully I put the video up of the networking. We did some networking with a viewer. And Mary was out there, and Mary contacted me and said, Mike, I got some stuff. I can't sell it on eBay. Can you help me? Maybe we can work something out. So I went and uh, saw Mary, and Mary had some pretty cool stuff. We already sold um, some 3D Viewmaster reels, and we sold a dog um, fence system. So we did pretty good there. 
Now this one here is really interesting. I'm going to show you it, okay? But this is again me talking about what networking business cards. I'm networking through YouTube now. If you think about it, Mary was great, and she said, "Hey, we've got more stuff, so we're going to go look through and see what she has." So Mary, if you're out here, this is the one. I didn't want to. Uh, I haven't told Mary yet. I'm going to pay her, obviously, but. The, uh, I kind of want to hopefully get this video up so she could see it. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, try and get the video up before. So what is it? I'm going to have to tip the box a little bit. Okay. Inside there are metal figures. And so to show you that things that are broken, things that are uh, need some repair can sell, this is part of that. Now, there's a bunch of these in there. These are Dungeons and Dragons. The old pewter lead or something, uh, cast iron, not cast iron, but lead uh, dragons. Look at no head, no wing, but inside we have a few parts. You know, look at these. These wings are kind of bent on this guy. This one's all painted up. Okay. Now, people will paint these, and even though this is painted, doesn't matter. They'll probably paint it themselves again. And there's a bunch of little figurines, and then there are parts like the wing to that one, so they could, you know, put it back on. Now, uh, you hear me talk about uh, buy it now and auction. This is one of those cases where I ran an auction. And I run an auction because I really don't know the value, so I'm going to take a chance. Now, I put it up for $75 at the start. And I kind of lost track of it for a few days. And then uh, I peeked in and it had moved a little bit. And at the final day, it sold for, get this, $296, okay? And the shipping was $25. So we did pretty good, Mary. We did pretty good. You count the other things that we sold, some reels, we're over five or $600 just off that networking with Mary. And Mary's going to get paid. We have a little arrangement that I'm going to have to take the fees, obviously, and a few other little things. But she's going to get money. She, she didn't want to have to deal with that. And that's how you network. You find somebody who has something maybe and you, they want to sell it. Split the profits a little bit. Figure out what the fees are and that kind of thing. And you go from there. So uh, very cool. So we'll see what else Mary has and we'll let you know when we do sell stuff from Mary. All right. All right. Let's get on to the rest of the stuff for today. Well, what are we looking around? I'm just kind of wandering around. All right. All right. We got to do it. Oh, hold on here. Here we go. Every day I try to say. Bundle of golf clubs, huge. Um, some were $6, some were $3, all over the map. And um, I'll just show you some Adams, some uh, King Cobra. There's a ping in there. There's an old zebra putter right here. Right here, you're looking, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that seven? And uh, yeah, seven. You're looking at easy $350 off of this right here. And they will sell. Um, the Goodwill had put out about 20 clubs. I only managed to pick three from the 20. Now, sometimes you go in there and you hit it and you get 15 clubs. So I hope it don't fall over the place, all over the place. But... Again, we've talked about golf clubs. Absolutely gold mine. They're easy to ship. They go in those media, not those uh, those um, medium tubes. They call them medium tubes. They're actually about 38 inches long. And most putters and wedges just drop in. The drivers, we marry two together and try and keep that overall length. What? What's the length we don't want to go beyond? We don't want to go beyond 48 inches. We want to stay at 48 inches and below. So... We got to keep that. In All right, I had to cut it. Those golf clubs were there at my feet. So, hey, we're going to show you something that's kind of cool out of the bins. I had to. Just had to cut it. Here we go. These here. Look at this. Early jazz greats. And this is by Yazoo Records. And there's an artist by the name of uh, Crum is his name. Crum. And they are by him, by Crum. I have sold a lot of R. Crumb. I think it's Robert. I don't want to get it wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure that's his name. And he's a cartoonist and a musician. And these are like uh, cards of famous, 
you know, like here's Benny Goodman at the end. Benny Goodman, I'll show you a couple. Should have shown you a couple. Earl Hines. And these sell for about 15 to 18 bucks. Now, R. Crumb, those books, keep an eye out for him. He's a cartoonist, and if you see them, you will know it when you kind of see it. You go, wow, I, I've, I've seen that before. And I have sold several of his books. I've sold several on eBay and several on Amazon. As a matter of fact, one just hit the other day on Amazon for $83. Sold for $83. So that's another tip. Look for R. Crumb comic stuff. It's, uh, it can go for some pretty decent money. All right, now where are we going next? All right, we'll go right over here. One of the best brands to look for as far as um, uh, tools for uh, mechanics, all of that kind of stuff is Snap-on. I paid $12.99, got this at Savers today. Now Savers on Tuesday is senior day, so you get 30% off your total purchase. That means everything. You can go up to two, three hundred dollars. Doesn't matter. That's the one time you get the full value. If you use their coupon, which is twenty percent, you can only go to a hundred. But on Senior Tuesday, you get a thirty percent off your entire, entire purchase. This is a Snap-on drill. Um, not a ton of money. Uh, minus the the thirty percent is brings it to about ten bucks. I'll get fifty to sixty dollars. For this and it will sell really quickly just because it's snap on really good quality now if i had the 18 volt this is only the 12 if i had the 18 volt i'm probably at a 150 mark at about 150. all right where else are we gonna go we got the golf clubs uh da -da -da. Oh, here we go let's go down here interesting find savers now they're cheap they're eight bucks each eight dollars each they are student violins okay now student violins there is not a ton of value there's good value but not three four five hundred dollars there can be some but it's rare these are student violins the name of the company is Chelio on this one this is the name Chelio I'll show you what it looks like it's very very nice that's what it looks like okay um, some sell for fifty to a hundred dollars. That's about where they sit. So when you get them for like eight or nine bucks, because they know they see them come in and they know that they're going to price them, you know, at certain prices, and and you just grab them when they pop out, that kind of thing. I happened to get this one as I was looking at I can't remember, something else I was looking at, and these just pop, popped into the cart, and they were just right there. I pulled them out, and boom, that was what I got them for seven ninety nine. So they'll sell between fifty and a hundred dollars, and I got two, two of these guys. All right. Now, now, I saved one item. I'm going to show you another item after this, but I got one item here that I want to show you. I got, I got to um, uh, go get it. I forgot it. I'll be right, All right up next. I had to go get them. I left them in the car. This particular item. Uh, Got a couple more, so hang with me. Hang, I got one really, really cool one, so you gotta hang on, hang on. So I was in Goodwill, and it, out came a cart full of this stuff. I'm gonna try and show you up front here. Here it is, Pokemon, Pokemon. Now, um, I'll try and show you one without, this is what the box looks like. It's called Plasma Freeze Black and White Pokemon. There were four or five bundles and the bundles are like this, they're taped together, and it says $3.59, 59 cents. Now, I fretted over this. It was late in the day, so I was just kind of kicking back, and there was another picker there, and we were just talking, and I was looking at these, and I was saying, what do you think, they're new? And I couldn't really tell, and it's like, they definitely look new. And then sometimes I'd say, they definitely don't. But then, you know, what am I, you know, so I had to finally open a couple. So I opened a couple, and I go, well, they definitely feel new, all that kind of stuff. And we just got to talking, and and then I finally decided, I'm going to text one of my picker friends, so we're back to networking. Somebody who knows more about Pokemon than I do. I know nothing. And, you know, he says, well, Mike, how much are they? I said, I'll shoot you a photo. $3.59. He calls me up, and he goes, what are you doing? And I said, what do you mean? He goes, what's the rule? And I said, well, just take it. And he goes, yeah, $3.59 for 
four or five packs and you you know 14 15 bucks you, you know so you see even i kind of freeze up and it was just late and i was just trying to figure out you know what i wanted to find i couldn't find the package that was my problem i was trying to find the actual package to help me verify these and i'm thinking you know it's 14 dollars at the end of the day it took another picker to finally say wake up wake up take <laughs> take them and worry about it later there's 14 dollars there you're going to make more than 14 dollars even if they're not new see sometimes it takes somebody else to kind of kickstart you and get you going and get your brain moving and that's what happened there so quite interesting there we'll see we'll let you know i got a whole bunch of these a whole bunch of these i just i, I gotta do a little bit more research and uh we'll let you know as soon as we sell them okay we're gonna show you one more we got two more items i want you to stick around for the big one the big ones at the end all right but this guy right here i gotta be cool he's probably gonna go off all right <laughs> He didn't go off. He didn't go off. He's got a motion sensor in him. I've been finding these guys. That's Jemmy. The brand is Jemmy. And you just got to look those up. They can sell for good money. That was a $6.69 purchase. If you saw another video I think I had up here, you saw another Jemmy that I got for $6.69. Uh, they are the, probably one of the best uh, that make these Halloween type things, these animatronic type things. And do you know that song? Who's that song? Huh? Who's it by? I think it's by the Average White Band, right? The Average White Band, I think. I don't get, I might be wrong, but that's who I think it is. Uh, so, um, very, very, very cool uh, thing. He's going to sell for about $65 when we paid $6.69. So, uh, another really kind of cool find. Another cool find. All right, it's time for the last item. Now, I'm going to put it up here, and I'll try to leave it there. Hopefully you saw my uh, my D my DVD my video my video of this particular item, and I want to show you guys this because you need to just keep your eye out for this. You're going to find some of these occasionally, and it is a Marantz two two seven five receiver, and I paid twenty nine dollars for this, and it sold. I had so many offers. I sold it for $900, $900 plus $64.95 for shipping. And this is where a lot of people think, oh, it's just old. No, no, no. This is really a cool receiver up here. This is very, very cool. Um, it worked. There were two buttons. One was a little sticky and you had to pull out. And the other one, I wasn't positive if this multipath was supposed to click in and click out. You just disclose that. And I also put in there that I was selling this for as-is parts. I wanted people to know that, look, I've tested it. I put speakers on it. Worked great, except for there was this issue, that issue, and one of the little LEDs in the middle seemed to be out. But when you find these, these kind of guys who buy these are looking to refurbish them anyhow. They're going to go in and they're going to make sure it's cleaned out, all the pots, all that crackle and hiss, all that dust is going to be gone. They just want a fair price on a working one uh, so that they can invest some money to bring it up to even a higher standard. Now, if I would have sent it out for refurbishment, probably cost me three to six hundred dollars to have it completely refurbished. Maybe I could get two thousand out of it. So it doesn't pay for me. It's let's, let's let somebody else do it. There's a lot of people out there who are looking for projects, that kind of thing. And this is their right up their alley. So they get it. They make it pristine. They might keep it themselves and they might flip it and make themselves five, six, seven hundred dollars. So don't be afraid to ship them. Uh, I have the video of the turntable, how I ship a turntable. I ship my receivers the same way. So take a look at that video if you want. Look up, uh, just type in, I think, turntable into my search and it should pop up. I'll try and put it down in the comment, I mean, in the description so you can kind of click on it and see. But 
Again, I love electronics and don't pass them up. They are worth a lot of money sometimes, just like you saw on this one. And if you just remember to use your eyes and look at that, look at that Marantz and look at it and just envision it. So the next time you see one, you're going to go right for it. You're going to go right for something like that. You'll find Pioneer, Yamaha, and Marantz, and Sansui, all of these kind of really vintage receivers, amplifiers. All right, there you go. Just a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff today. Really, really appreciate you guys again. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.